Hi, it's Chester Tugworth from Blue PK and Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at creating a recorded macro that will automatically delete filtered records. So here's my scenario. I've got three months worth of data. So I import the data into a sheet. And then what I want to be able to do is just press a button and the macro will automatically delete these discontinued records. So on each month, you'll have a different number of records. You'll always have the same uh, number of columns, etc., but you'll have a different number of records. So we want a macro that was going to achieve this for us. So this all can be all be done with a recorded macro. No VBA coding is actually needed. And you're going to need your developer tab on your ribbon to achieve this. So to do that, if it's not showing on your ribbon at the moment, just right click on one of the existing tabs, go to customize the ribbon and make sure this developer tick box is ticked there. Click on OK, and then your developer tab will appear here. Uh, we're not going to use relative references for this macro. No need to do that. Um, so make sure that isn't turned on. If it's on, it'll have a color background. Off it won't. So we're going to record a macro. We're going to call this macro delete um, discontinued items and uh, we're going to give ourselves a shortcut key let's say we have control shift K uh, we're going to save the uh, macro in this workbook because it's only relevant to data we import into uh, this particular file and uh, we don't need a description that's an optional thing uh, that you can use if you want to so I'm going to click on OK now the first thing I'm going to do is select cell A1. The data is always imported to the top left of the uh, worksheet, so that's fine. Cell A1 has been selected. I'm then going to apply a filter, so I go to Data Filter. That gives me the drop-down list. Now the next thing we're going to do is um, we need to select the area of the screen or the area of our worksheet that contains the data that potentially we will want to delete. So essentially that will be from uh, cell A2 down to the bottom of our data. Now to do that, what you're going to do is control shift and the end key, control shift end, and that will always take you from A2 down to the last set of data, the last record of data in your table. It's essential you do that because we're going to have to select only visible cells uh, later on in the macro and that will only work <coughs> if you select the right range of data first. If you don't select that range of data it will end up selecting visible cells across your whole worksheet which is not what you want, you just want it within that range. So once we've done that we can then do our filter. Now your filter is obviously going to be different to mine but um, I'm just going to show discontinued. So those are the ones I actually want to delete. So you're filtering for the records that you want to delete. Then what you do is you go to the Home tab, find and select over on the left there, go to Special, and you want to select Visible Cells Only. That will select the visible records. You can then on your Home tab again go to Delete, Delete Sheet Rows, and I'll get rid of them. Then obviously we want to take our filter off. No need for the drop down list anymore. So we can take those off as well. Click in A2, that's probably where we want to end up. And then we can stop recording. Okay, so let's see if it works on the other sheets. So we obviously got rid of our discontinued items there. Let's click here. So how can I run my macro? Well, I can go to Macros here. Um, and what we want to do is run this one here. Delete discontinued items, run. And you can see it's got rid of them. And then also, if you remember, I gave it a little shortcut key. And go to Options there to see what that was. It was K. So Control Shift K also gets rid of the discontinued items. I uh, didn't try that. Let's try it on a different sheet. Control Shift K. Yes, it got rid of the discontinued items. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Deleting filtered items with a recorded macro. Thanks very much for listening.